there is hope Thomas Partey will be fit enough to return for Arsenal's visit to Leicester next Saturday. The Ghanaians' return to action can't come soon enough for Mikel Arteta, the euphoria of Jorginho's last-minute winner here at Villa Park will go a long way towards disguising the Gunners' deficiencies without their influential linchpin, as will the fact Partey's direct replacement in the team bagged the decisive goal. But when the emotion of this crucial three points eventually simmers, Arteta shouldn't be hoodwinked. For large sections of this scintillating encounter, Arsenal were a shadow of what we've come to expect without the man who holds it all together. Less power, less drive, less snap. Less everything. Arsenal beat Aston Villa in dramatic fashion on Saturday as Jorginho's deflected strike gave them an injury time winner. The euphoria of the win should not hide a performance that loved much to be desired. Jorginho put in a classy performance, but he does not bring the same stability as Thomas Partey. The back injury that caused him to miss Wednesday's loss to Manchester City and this thrilling victory versus Aston Villa isn't said to be a long term problem, though it has been enough to preclude him from first team team training over the last few days days. He is expected to resume full training at the start of next week, suffice to say he'll be straight back into Arteta's starting 11 at the King Power Stadium provided he comes through unscathed. Because Arsenal have missed his presence. This victory means his absence won't be viewed as a defining one in Arsenal's title tilt. Indeed, Arsenal fans would likely point to last weekend's VAR calamity from Lee Mason as the key mitigation if their title challenge proves unsuccessful. Yet it is clear Arsenal are a different proposition without Partey in the team. Arsenal have lost six times this season, on every occasion Partey either didn't play or couldn't complete 90 minutes. It looked for so long that they would fail to win without Partey again here at Villa Park. It isn't that Jorginho isn't up to it, because of course he is. Even here against Villa the former Chelsea midfielder exuded class. Partey picked up a muscle injury last week and missed both the Villa game and Arsenal's clash with Man City I on Wednesday Gabriel Jesus has also been out for months but is expected to return to first-time action shortly but, in short, he isn't Thomas Partey. The stability the African midfielder offers is priceless, the balance he provides is invaluable. Without him, Arsenal are discovering just how reliant they are on his brilliance, his pending return represents good news for Arteta at a crucial juncture in the season. But by the time he is back in Arsenal Red, City may be back at the Premier League summit. We all know what Pep Guardiola's team are like in the finishing straight, similarly, Gabriel Jesus' imminent return to fitness will provide Arsenal with another timely boost following a run of one win in five matches that has inflicted potentially irreparable damage to their domestic season. The Gunners have a frail three-point lead at the top of the Premier League with 15 games remaining the Brazil international hasn't played for Arsenal since before the World Cup following knee surgery. By and large, the Gunners have hardly missed Jesus. Eddie Inquedia has scored six goals during the South Americans' recovery period. But Inquedia hasn't scored in his previous five matches. He was Arsenal's most wasteful here at Villa Park, squandering three good opportunities. Inquedia has been an able understudy, but like Partey, the return to fitness of Jesus can't arrive quick enough for Arsenal.